Welcome Virgo Libra to your chakra reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, I got this new deck over here for, it's called Sacred Self Care. So these are gonna come in very, very nicely. I'm really enjoying them. Okay. So getting straight into this, Spirit has picked the solar plexus, talking about that determination, that intention and staying determined for your intention. So whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're going after, whatever you're doing, make sure that you keep that determination within yourself. Okay, next card out is the third eye chakra, which is visualization, making sure that you visualize what you're determined about. So whatever your intention is, Make sure you're visualizing it and having it. Now, we have this make a vision board, which is awesome, okay? I just did this card, uh, this one for uh, Taurus Gemini, and it just blew me away. Uh, this one is actually taking crafting paper or anything that you want, putting pictures up on a vision board, making a vision board of the things you want in manifestation. That way, you can see it, feel it, and then it can become, while wow, always keeping the intention in your mind. So, you, you know, even though you're visualizing it, now you can put it over here and you can see it all the time. So this says it's pairing images with words to add specifically the energy to your manifestation project and process. Hmm. So you're making kind of a, pro a project. For example, if there's a certain type of job, opportunity, romantic partner, or life experience that you want to call in, you can write out a detailed list explaining how you'd like that person or event to manifest and how it will make you feel. Or you can add pictures of maybe a type of house that you want, that you're building towards out in the country or in the city or next to the beach or in the forest, wherever, right? And you can put that up there on a project board and that will be your vision board. You visualize it, you find it, you pin it up. And that way when you keep walking by it, it always reminds you of that intention and having that determination of what you want and where you're going. Yeah, that's amazing. I've never heard of that. Um, so that's awesome. I, you know, writing journals and stuff like that. Yes. But actual having it in your view all the time keeps you determined to remember what you're fighting for, remembering what your intention is, remembering what your goal is, what's your plan. Wow. It really is cool. So these techniques work because we are made to hone in on what's important in tune ourselves to what we want. So in turn, we start to prioritize taking the necessary steps to bring our desires to life. As you get clarity on what you really want, you're more likely to recognize it and work towards it as it becomes more real and feels more tangible. And then that's where the see it, feel it, there it is, be it, right? And so it is, right? As we all say, and so it is. So having this determination, wow. So clarifying on the determination, please. Or Virgo Libra. Keeping those chakras balanced. What do we need? We need swift moving towards that determination, keeping yourself there for the transition so that you can have this beautiful transition and this rebirth going on and remembering who you are, what you want, right? At all times, bringing in the Ace of Cups, wow. So having the visualization is visualizing it, right? Knowing what it is, imagining it, seeing it in your hands, knowing it's yours, wow. Brings in the harmony, the peace, and will bring in perfect timing. Wow, with the temperance. Wow. And it also, since this is spiritual reading, remember this gets you in tuned with your higher self. That's the temperance with, you know, the divine. Your soul, the divine, the higher pieces. Knowing what you want. Using your intuition 
to decide what it is exactly it is that you want and seeing it the way you want it to be seen. Getting really clear with the Two of Swords about what direction you want. If you're, you know, really looking at, you know, really wanting to live in, we'll just say a cabin in the woods, who knows, right? <laughs> Whatever just came to my mind. Um, you're going to, maybe you don't want this cabin to be, you know, something huge and spectacular, like no tons of glass because I'm not washing those windows. So you're going to want to visualize exactly what you want and start really getting determined and really thinking with the Two of Swords about how you envision this thing to be. How you would like it to be pretty clear. You know, it might not be 100% in the end if you get it what you visualize, but it sure as heck will be close, right? And you probably won't have those one million windows. I see so many of those in the woods and it's like, wow. Cabin in the woods with a million windows and tons of birds. I just think of birds hitting the windows. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I, windows, right? <clears throat> They're gorgeous, but I don't want to wash them, right? <clears throat> or in visualizing maybe having tons of windows and getting a maid to wash those windows. <laughs> but having the faith no matter what to see clearly what it is that you want and making sure that you're true to yourself and true to your higher self about what you're really visualizing. Right. And knowing that it is something that you are capable of having. Right. If you only make twenty dollars an hour. Right. And you're trying to visualize having a Lamborghini. I hope you're visualizing winning that lottery. Right. Because just right. Just the oil change on that is highly crazy. Right. So staying true to what is real. And that's why visualizing it and getting into higher self, because the higher self is not going to lie to you. It's not going to make you visualize that you're going to get a Lamborghini when you know that's not a part of my life's journey to have a Lamborghini, at least not right now. Maybe later in life, I will find a job that I can make, you know, $150 an hour. Who knows, right? We don't know anything. But for right now, it's visualizing things that you can actually touch, feel, and that are um, super realistic for you, right? Then later in life, you know, you get that awesome job. Then you can have a Lamborghini, right? That will be the next manifestation, right? But it is it's staying true to yourself and faithful to what is real. And that will get away from all the imagination of anything that is a fantasy, right? We don't want to put ourselves into a fantasy mode. We want to get real. <clears throat> Things we can have. You can have a cabin in the woods, my friends. Okay. Everybody can. So Knight of Coins. Yes. So you have the Knight of Coins coming in. It's a slow moving process. Why? Because it's probably going to take a while to actually open yourself up, get clear about what you want and actually relax enough to get everything moving. Right. Getting rid of all the anxieties. Yes. Getting rid of anything that criticizes ourselves from saying we cannot have this or saying I'm inadequate for this or, you know, getting rid of um, any kind of anything that's negative. Right. And making sure that we're completely truthful to ourselves about what it is we can have. Yes, absolutely. With the nine of coins. Thank you. Yes. Getting rid of anything that says you can't have that when actually spirit says you can have that. You want a cabin in the woods? We'll have a cabin in the woods. Hey, let's put it on our vision board, right? Let's visualize it, get determined about it, and put it on the vision board. Having a Lamborghini when you make $20 an hour, you are not getting that. Right? Not yet. Okay, so. So, yes, making a vision board. I think that is the most amazing thing. Maybe you want to put it on the refrigerator, right? I know I, I just heard a bunch of people say, and I need more stuff on the refrigerator like I need a hole in my head. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so anyways, yes, the hangman over here. And this is where you're going to get inspired and use that creativity and kind of hang around and think, hey, you know what? I am going to use a vision board. You know what? That's a great idea. Maybe I will do this. Or maybe if you don't want to make a vision board, maybe you can make a vision book. Like your own little like catalog, right? Put it inside of a, an, a photo album or something, right? Just something that's visionary um, for you to be able to 
you know, hey, this is what I need. But, you know, if it's something you know you're not going to be able to look in all the time, like, I could probably make a photo album, and I'll look at it for a couple of days or so, but I'll probably forget about it. So I think probably being, like, a vision board would be best for me, because I'm one of those people I'll, I'll just, like, forget about the book and be like, oh, yeah, there's that book that had my visions in it from 20 years ago. King of Swords. So think logically about how you're going to make the vision board. Think logically of can I have a vision book or do I really need a board or do I not need this at all? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't need that. Right. And for those of you who want one, it's just a great idea. You don't have to have one. I think it's amazing myself. And yes, it's for the law and the attraction. Wow. Right. There it is. Bringing in the magic, allowing you to remember Every day, what it is your intentions is, right? Maybe it's only two things, you know, so that way you don't stretch your energy out too far. I would assume, friends, please don't make them probably this big. That's a lot of intentions, and you're going to strain the energy. I have said it a thousand times. Let's not thin out the energy. Let's keep the energy strong. So I would say one or two things on a vision board would be just enough. Maybe you want to make the vision, like I said, on the refrigerator. Maybe just put two pictures on the on there and that would be enough because um, I'm really out on thinning out the energy because it takes longer. I mean, you think this is slow. You think that's slow? This is going to go now at a snail speed. I don't even have a snail card, but I'm telling you right now, those that you really want the most, that you're really super determined is going to take away most of the energy from all the other ones that you're doing. Um, so I would say one or two law and attractions at a time. That's, it's, you know, it's actually more appropriate. It's like overwhelming your own energy in the universe to try to weave this web together. <clears throat> yeah, and four of coins really holding on to that. And this vision board allows you to hold on to this and it allows you to see what, yes, see and observe it every day. Look at it every day, right? And then say, yes, this is what I want. I want that cabin in the woods. And I'm really after this new job over here so that, you know, and I really want this job, um, you know, and just keeping that going. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.